well here we are again this is uh, Monday the 21st of June in Versailles which is Dia de la Bandera Day of the Flag which is a public holiday one of about 19 public holidays in the country and it's where they celebrate the creation of the national flag by a certain Manuel Belgrano in 18... well, 18 something or other, I'm not exactly sure of the date um, so I thought I'd take a little jaunt into the centre and see what's going on probably into the Plaza de Maggio which is where the the Pink Palace, otherwise known as the Casa Rosada is situated um, and possibly Nueva de Julio where the obelisk is amazing really when you think about it that we have a public holiday to celebrate the creation of a flag but there we go it's one of many it's a rather cold day by Buenos Aires standards anyway about 11 degrees Celsius, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit and I don't mind it being cloudy because on the way back the sun will be very low in the sky so there's quite a lot of traffic about for a public holiday but anyway so what have I been doing to the bike? Quite a lot recently actually. Um, what did I do? I changed the spark plugs. I made a, a rubber strip that sits on the sits on the frame just below where the chain, the bottom part of the chain um, runs and the the original one had, had broken so literally fallen to pieces and it it's when the chain is is quite saggy and it uh, and the rubber just stops it banging against the swing arm that's it so I, I made one myself so that didn't cost me anything what else um, got the rear Oh, that's right, I took the chain off, cleaned it, and took a link out with a fabulous tool that I bought, which is so simple to use, it does exactly what it says on the tin, as it were. Uh, so I, I the reason I took the chain off, uh, sorry, the link out, was because they only had 108 link chains available and I changed the rear sprocket to 32 teeth and therefore the chain was a bit long for that size of sprocket anyway long story short so I reduced the length of the chain and so it's not extending to the full length of the uh, swing arm as it were and after that I took the rear brake caliper off because it wasn't working properly in other words one of the brake pads was stuck in the stuck against the disc one side of the brake disc and so I took it off cleaned it 
And while I was at it, replaced the brake pads with new ones and greased the caliper pins because they weren't greased. So I sanded down the pins a little bit first. Um, and I also changed the fluid, but I haven't. The brakes are not, the rear brakes are not working at 100% at the moment because I'm going to have to bleed them again. So, what else? Changed the indicator flasher, located a, a wiring fault, fixed that. Um, cleaned the air filter. I should have it changed really, but it's bloody expensive down here. That's enough to be going on with. It took me all day yesterday to get all those jobs done. But it is nice to be riding a bike that, uh, you know, you're giving some attention to. You know, it's there. Uh, I don't know if it's just just me, but the bike does seem to feel uh, a little more responsive for whatever reason. Oh, and I just did the uh, the idle the idle revs. I had the shock absorbers checked out, and they're still in good condition. Because I was considering changing them because they've done nearly sixty thousand kilometres, but. And I had the added adjusted to a slightly harder setting because they were bottoming out. And I'm going to fit a rev counter. I found a chap that can do that for me because it's a little bit beyond my capability. I'm sure I could probably do it, but I don't want to screw it up. I'm thinking of fitting some heated grips because there's, there's one area that my fingers get really cold in it's just on the ends you know even in 10 degrees Celsius it will, uh, it will feel the wind chill So it's been a long weekend, I've been doing that to the bike, 